Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. What we're going to do now is that we're going to do a little pony in, but I'm going to show you how I start teaching the pony. This horse has already uh, been taught, uh, but uh, I think it's important to go uh, how I set this up. Uh, we want them pretty close. The horse, first of all, let's talk about the horse. The horse, uh, it doesn't make any difference if it's a mare or a guillotine, but both of them, either one has to be okay with horses close to them and bumping into them. So if they're not okay being close and bumping into them, they're, they're, they're probably going to be a wreck. Okay. The other deal is what I've done here is I took I took one loop around like this and another uh, loop around a double, you know, one single dolly. And if you notice my hand right here and the loose end, thank you. The loose end is in here where my thumb is, and in my index finger and my fingers are right here. Okay. That way, uh, uh, if I need to add lengthen, I can just open my fingers and let it draw through the horn because I'm still attached to here. Uh, also, notice that I, I keep my hand down here at my thigh to hold uh, the rope in position. Um, sometimes, if you get involved in, in holding it up here, you're going to pull, you, you could possibly pull the rope through and take off the finger, okay? So I've always, uh, you know, newcomers and people haven't learned to do it, teaching to hold down here. That way, and, and if you get in trouble, you just let go, you know, and the rope will slide through. Okay, so the first thing I do is I just walk forward, and if the horse doesn't follow, I'm going to turn left. You know, when I start teaching babies, uh, yearlings or even six months old, you don't start by pulling them, you know, straight on. All right. What you do is you go left, pull them off center, then go straight. Uh, I also want you to see that uh, I got my range bridge. So I, uh, this horse is in a snaffle and you can even shorten them up a little bit more. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to find that this horse is giving and following at a trot and maybe at a canter good all right so once we've done all of that and they're fairly comfortable and they're not le and they, they learn to yield uh, then you can go venture the outside okay but if they're still uh, uh, pulling on you and hesitant uh, what I would do is just go ahead and make sure work in a safe environment that they understand uh, what that means and the better they do and and backup you know we need a backup on them as well okay now on a horse that wants the bolt, you know, sometimes you'll see people on a long line, and that's fine. But if I, if I got a horse that's uh, uh, boltish, <laughs> I, I'm going to keep him by the short hairs. I'm going to keep him up here, all right? Because if he goes, he's going to hit the, the horn really quick. And this is a roping horn. You don't have to have a roping horn, but you certainly don't want a treeless saddle. Or if you have to own one of my flex bar saddles, uh, you wouldn't want a, a, a dally too. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.